A different scene this week at Ohio Stadium in Columbus. I mean, sure, you got the same 100 plus thousand fans, but last week's matchup with Texas was about national title hopes and Heisman trophies. Now it's about bouncing back against San Diego State. But at least the Buckeyes settled on a quarterback this time. As always, a full house at the shoe. And they'd only been in their seats a few minutes when it got really quiet. First play of the game, the Aztecs quarterback Kevin O'Connell swings it out to Brett Swain. And you might notice the lack of scarlet jerseys in the picture. 80 yards later, it's 6-0 SDSU. It took three possessions and some good field position, but Troy Smith and the Ohio State offense finally found the end zone on this 14-yard run. And it put the Bucs up 7-6. Next time they got in that close, Smith didn't keep it. He gave it to Bradley or Brandon rather Schnicker and he commits the Cardinal sin when he coughs it up before he gets in so it stays 7 6 and the Aztecs get it back but not for long same score five minutes before the break and Smith this time burrows his way in from a yard out to put the Bucks up 14 6 and there was some great defense too. last play of the third quarter and this is all Anthony Schlegel forces O'Connell into a bad pitch then covers it at the one and sets up his offense for this. Schnitker with two hands this time. That's a good idea. He gets in from point blank range. And the OSU defense held San Diego State to a grand total of three first downs. Ted Ginn, just three catches for 37 yards, but the Buckeyes do bounce back. They handle the Aztecs 27 to 6 and go to 2 and 1. First off, a relief that we got the W, you know, second off, you know, kind of a bitterness that offensively we didn't go out and do the things that we wanted to do, you know, uh, so it's kind of sweet and sour. Everyone on the team would like to be 3-0, and myself included, but you know, the reality of the situation is we're 2-1, and we're ranked ninth in the country, and if we win our next eight games, hopefully that will make us outright Big Ten champions, and hopefully we'll have a chance to play the national title game. What about Shane Montgomery's team this week? Miami heads to Kent State in search of win number one, and the Red Hawks did come away with said win. Josh Betts threw a pair of touchdowns to Martin Nance, and Brandon Murphy ran one in from a yard out, 27 to 10. The final score up next. Miami's got a week off before they take on UC on September.